Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now, play your stout. Stout costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Whoa, okay. What the hell was that? It's suffering was real, but you will see it again. Oh my god. That's awful. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> what is happening? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Ah, uh, okay. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. I think we'll go with the cat because we haven't really even used the sparrow yet. And we can just keep using the squirrels. Oh, so we're gonna upgrade? I don't. I. F I feel so bad with this stout here, but at the same time, I feel like maybe I shouldn't listen to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it because why not? The soul of the cat now lives in the stout. Oh, wait, does this mean I can sacrifice the stout? Out over an oh, but the oh no! <laughs> I think that means that the stout can be infinitely sacrificed and not die. Behold my totem! It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh shit! He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Holy fucking shit. Huh. Wow. That's, uh something for sure I was not expecting that at all that was awful impressive you may yet survive this ordeal knock on wood there's a way out for both of us it's somewhere in this foul cabin Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Fuck. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Fuck. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeah, it was the prospector. Oh boy. Doing the prospect there again. Hey boss, the mule's key. Oh fuck. 
of that. Agnamit, my mule. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Okay. There's gold in them cards. <laughs> cards in the tank. Out of space, there's no room for that card. I have to wait for his cards to break the gold. Okay, and then now I can play something there. Oh, yeah, I need to draw a card first. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. <sighs> You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. A largely unimpressive specimen. Shit, they got me in this game. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Or blood. And the uninspiring geck. Perhaps you can find a use for it. That's a strange larva. I don't know what it turns into, but we'll find out. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry onward. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. You were stopped along the way by the trapper to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Here to look at my pelts. Take a pelt free of charge. I have one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, there we go. Take those. I don't know what they do, but I'll take them. Here to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. Oh, they're filling up my deck now, though, probably, huh? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. You mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Ooh, damn. Okay. A 
lot of a lot of cards. Two black goats could be good. Oh, and I can get another one. Wolf pet. Wolf pelt. Oh, and these are like upgraded, actually. No, a flying wolf wouldn't be that bad. They do three damage. All right. Now the boss. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. This can fly and go under the water. We can start off pretty good by using the black goat here. Be enough to get us. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna sacrifice that anyways, so. Still. So he's gonna take that? Or what's happening here? It turned into his card, oh fucker. Ah, oh, fucker. Let's do this really quick, and then... Let's cut up the wolf. You know what? Skip your next turn, too. Too fast, too soon. What the fuck? Fly, River Snapper. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. This is the best I can do. Fuck, I guess I was supposed to have a bunch of cards there to eat the damage. Or there might be another gimmick to the fight. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory, though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. And another, this time I will use its power and health, the numbers. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. We have a little porcupine. We have a little special porcupine. Card. Portrait. Are you ready? Do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. A resourceful opossum cost two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Thank bug boy. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. It is, it is the stout around, the stunted wolf, the madness must end. Put that away. I got a key. You again. Indeed, 
our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. Got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Wait, what the hell? You cost two bones because you're stinky. So I, I think we were supposed to die there uh, on that one boss. Introduce the bones mechanic. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. The Flash. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. I'm assuming he's in the clock. Or he's in that other drawer, but I can't get into it. Or, okay. Ah, there we go. Curious. It's this thing right here, the caged wolf. Oh, maybe once we... If we can get the caged wolf... Oh, we have to break it out of the cage, so it has to be hit by a really strong enemy. That's what I was thinking. Good, good, good. That, I'm assuming it means it attacks both here. There we go. Oh, shit. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand its power. So we can get the totems. Okay, at least that's what I think is going on there. He'll pull up the opossum. Uh, I'll place a squirrel here. Okay. What do these do? Okay, they just block damage. Ah, uh huh. Ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem is complete. The fledgling sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, I can just make like squirrels? Like super squirrels? Hello? What is this? That caged wolf, he did that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Yeah, no, I understand the, the caged wolf. You don't gotta explain that to me. I gotta get it to break. I know! Me again. What's wrong with you? Why do you look like you're, like, Minecraftified? Assuming we can drop that down here. Finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish that you hadn't. Bruh. Fuck up. What does that mean? I'm running out of squirrels though, which is not good. Oh, 
the special mantis there, I guess. done <laughs> otherwise we definitely would have lost thought I saved that your lives are restored believe it or not you're not the first to lose an eye here this isn't much fun if you're half blind perhaps you'd like to replace it sure I don't know what's going on with this eye but ancestral vision find salvation Cuckoo clock. Sign salvation in cuckoo clock. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Take the film roll before he sees it now. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. Hi. Hello. Ich will bastard. Hello. I still gotta do this. I gotta get a squirrel and a wolf. Oh, are we gonna combine the river snappers? Can we still combine them even though they have powers? Try it. Nope. Oh, yes, actually. What happens if you combine the rabbit pelt? That's weird. Yeah, but we're gonna combine these river snappers. Oh, look at that thing, dude! 12 health, it buffs the cards next to it, and it can block flying attacks. That's a fucking really good river snapper. Oh, damn! That's okay. That's okay. The trapper, how could you? How could you? Probably for the best, you don't often have 8,000. Yeah. Okay, so this is a mighty leap. It'll block airborne attacks. And this is Steel Trap. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. And a pelt is created in your hand. Oh, that stinks. Oh, it sucks. A permanent adder would be pretty good here. I have an idea. Cards are gonna get fucked up though. Because it was it pelt, but the cycle must continue. Oh, they're the same person! What a sicko! What is this? Powerful cards that will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this the rest will stay and fight for me! Oh, I should have been sacrificing some cards. But I have three wolf pelts, so. Oh my god.
gosh, what the hell? Holy fuck. What the fuck? This is crazy. Okay, I want to get rid of anything that can dive under. I can get rid of three things, and I'm thinking of getting rid of these these things in the back here. I want to actually get them too. Okay. I'm gonna get another squirrel. See what I can do here. Do I have enough for the turkey vulture? Oh, that's right. I do have the sniff snip. What can I get rid of? What would be best? My adder dives, so it should be fine. The elk. Should be fine. It, oh, fuck! One turn on the second phase. You will not perish quite yet. Alright, our options are the pelt buying lady. Or upgrade a card or get items. Get items. We need items. Man. Ah, no skizzers. No skizzers, but this is fine. Your eyes affix themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon, and the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely. Surely this cabin marked the end of your travels. I'm scared. I've come so far. I must play with my absolute 100% brain power. Oh. Ew, what's wrong with the trees? Oh, motherfuck. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily to, to pull three finned creatures. Success. Wait, why is it a win though? What 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 is making it win? Did the adder? Because it says, don't you need three? It was just one. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Cards automatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the bone lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. The boon of the forest. You'll start a battle with grand furs on all your spaces. What the hell? And the boon of goat's blood. You'll start a battle with a black goat on the board. The only one that makes sense is the the goat, right? We don't need eight bones. We barely have anything that requires bones. And this one's just like, why? Not even. Goat. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include... Oh, it's, oh, it's just one. Okay. Trial of the Swift. Trial of Skins. I do have some pelts. What are the chances? Yeah, it's a rare card, right? Yep. The Boon of the Ampidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. The Boon of the Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card your deck to draw. And the Boon of the Forest. Ooh, play twice, or I can pick a card. Oh my gosh, I have like so much anxiety right now. I'm shitting. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You've been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. What? You're a shitter. Hello? So Mole Man's gonna eat a bunch of damage. We get the Amalgam. We can 
get the river snapper in pretty early, which would be great. what bosses he is. Okay. That's scary, though. <sighs> okay, I can pick a card out of here. so scared this damned moon it's dramatic yes but it provides no value to my board I wonder what the fuck No, it blocks it. Fuck. Yeah, it has the leap effect on it. But we got it anyways. Okay. I, I fucking... As soon as I saw that effect, I'm like, no. Go on. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Oh. Oh. What the hell? I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please, not be polite. Dig in. Is something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. And right there. Jesus. Oh, he's been turned into a death card now. Ah. It's like demon claws back there. I want to get a good look at that. Oh, that's the new game icon.